Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I'm going to address this irrelevant bitch one last time, okay? And then I'm going to dead this fucking issue. The next time that I will ever speak about her is if she does some other bullshit that I don't fucking agree with. But as of right now, I'm so over talking about this irrelevant fucking cunt, okay? And I hate that word, but that's what the fuck she is, okay? She gets on her fucking platform. She fucking crybabies because she has mental health issues. Bitch, so do I. Okay, so do I. I have PTSD, and it's fucking hardcore shit, okay? I have two videos so far explaining what the fuck I've been through, okay? So we've all been through some shit, okay? That doesn't give you fucking permission to get on your fucking channel and lie about people and then think it's okay and because you have, you know, a bigger audience than I do. Guess what? You wouldn't have that if you wouldn't have been in all the drama that you inserted yourself in. Period. Okay? I am trying to grow my shit organically. I want people to like me. Not come to my channel and subscribe so that they can follow your drama. You know what I mean? I'm not going to keep doing this back and forth five-year-old bullshit with you. You and your fucking friend Marissa are such fucking flip-floppers. I cannot stand the way that y'all are. The other, literally, it's like the other week, fucking Britt made a video about all the people who were covering the Gabby um, Petito case, right? She fucking mentions T-spiracy for like 3.5 seconds, and then Marissa's in a goddamn uproar over that shit, okay? Makes a whole ass video about how that's fucked up what Britt did. Now, we see her over here, white knighting for people like motherfucking Tira and everybody else because t Spiracy is being a fucking hypocrite. <gasps> Shocker. Has anybody ever noticed that Brit will call people out, right? And that everybody will be against that. And then, like, less than a month later, they all see the same shit Brit just called out. The same shit they just tried to drag Brit for. And now they are currently fucking calling those same motherfucking people out that Brit called out. That Brit took heat for. I mean, what in the fuck? All of you fucking people who fucking come for Brit all the fucking time, you're fucking pathetic. You are literally the scum of the fucking earth. You people are so fucking, oh my god, desperate, pathetic, despicable liars. I cannot even wrap my mind around y'all's bullshit. I really cannot, okay? I really cannot. And I'm so over this dramatics. Oh my God, we need to talk. As if somebody has done something to you that has been that fucking dramatic for you to come on and do that shit. No, you need views. Content's getting old. Hello, Leash drama is stale. So you find something to fuck with Brit about because you're guaranteed to get a little bit more views. That's what the fuck you do. That's your MO. Remember how What's Her Fuck? Uh, not another T channel said that Brit has a pattern. She'll, you know, she will uh, talk about somebody and then she'll do some stuff in between there and then she'll talk about somebody and then she'll make some videos in between and then she'll talk about somebody. It's like a pattern or what she said was, was it was repetitive because she couldn't think of the word pattern. Um, so that's exactly what the fuck y'all do, especially you, Bambi, Susan, whatever the fuck your name is. I mean, I'm so tired of this shit. So many people have came to me and been like, uh, I cannot watch her anymore. I cannot stand it. She's such a fucking hypocrite. Yada, 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 yada. You know, and, and you are, dude. You sit on fucking camera and you laugh and you scoff and you mock people and shit. But then when somebody does that shit to you, you fucking crybaby about it. And then you take a fucking internet break. I mean, what the fuck? If you can't take the heat, get out the fucking kitchen. You ain't never heard that before? Like, maybe this shit just ain't for you. Maybe commentary ain't for you. That's all I can think of. Because this is how Brit is. Look, Brit, she makes her fucking videos, and she sees it, she watches it, she hears about it, she knows about it. She knows when y'all get pressed about what she says. Do you know how she responds to it? She says nothing. You know why? Because y'all aren't worth her time. She thinks shit's funny. She truly does. She literally thinks you're pathetic, so she doesn't even waste her fucking breath. It is that real. It, 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 mean girl mentality, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I call it realistic mentality, because that's what the fuck is really going on. 
I entertain the shit because it's fun to me. It's funny. I'm fucking tired of you fucking bitches sitting over there, virtue signaling and acting like, oh my God, I'm going to white knight for this person and then I'm going to hate this person and now I'm going to like this person. Yes, I get it. It's the commentary community. But y'all motherfuckers are the queens of fucking dramatics. It's unreal. Y'all are such flip-floppers. Nobody ever sticks to one thing. And I know what I'm about to say is going to piss a lot of people off. And you know what's cool about this? I don't give a fuck. Wildflower tea? No, this is not okay. Do not fucking sub to my channel and then go under fucking Bambi's video and fucking say shit like, I can't believe she would call CPS. That is wrong. That is so wrong. Da -da 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 -da. Well, now I'm going to play something for you, dumbass, so you can hear what the fuck I actually said. And that video about me saying something about CPS was never taken down never never taken down never unlisted none of that shit so that is a fucking lie and if you have any other clip of me saying different somebody has put that shit together because i've never fucking said that point blank period in the fucking story okay so this video was made one month ago okay it's never ever ever been taken down ever it has remained on my channel i have never unlisted private it or deleted it it's always been here so let's take a little listen shall we and then you're gonna fucking lie i hope that fucking community post was not about me girlfriend i have never tried to fucking dox you or call cps i mean someone should but i would never ever 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 do that period i have never tried to fucking dox you or call cps i mean someone should but i would never ever 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 do that Perry. Just so you're clear, this is the motherfucking thumbnail. It's always looked like that. It will remain looking like that. So, stop lying and saying that I urged people to call CPS. What the fuck I said is completely different than urging people to call CPS. So, when you're going to make my name look bad in these fucking YouTube streets, I'm going to call your bullshit. If you have any other clip of me saying any thing else you my friend are full of shit now back to wildflower t the one who likes to fucking say things and uh be a smart ass before she actually knows what really went the fuck down period saying somebody should do something and urging someone to do something are two different fucking things period point blank in the fucking story the way that you fucking threw subtle shade at me was fucked up and wrong I blocked you from my channel. I don't know if you unsubbed. I went and checked today, but I blocked you as soon as I saw that bullshit and fuckery in her comment section last night. So, you are just like the rest of them. Two faces fuck. And all the creators who are going to come after me about saying this shit, y'all see, y'all thought the same thing about fucking T-Spiracy too. And look what the fuck happened. She uh, flip-flopped real goddamn fast, didn't she? Every one of these fucking people are frauds, dude. You don't have to fucking be fake and ride fences and all this other bullshit. No, you're full of shit, and what you fucking said about me in that comment was fucking wrong. Those little digs you took at me were fucking wrong. Your opinion's fine, but when you start being a smartass about it, that shit is not cute. You look j like just the rest of us, so stop acting like you're all high and mighty, and you're not mean, and you're and always unbiased, and you're always so sweet. Y'all, peep game. Peep game, okay? The girl is not like she's portraying herself to be either. Fuck that. Okay? I realize people like you, Wildflower, like to ride fences, don't pick sides, like to be the nice person that everybody likes or whatever. But at some point, you need to fucking put your big girl panties on and say what the fuck side you stand on. Because right now, you look like a fucking fool. You look like a fucking two-faced ass fool is what the fuck you look like. I'm sorry, not sorry. Okay? So... Everybody can fucking unsub to me who who is going to be all upset and all up in their fucking feelings over the way I just talked about to about wildflower tea. I don't give a fuck about that girl. I don't give a fuck about... No, no. I'm sorry. Nope, 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 nope. People are not always what the fuck you think they are. All you know is her online. You don't know her in real motherfucking life. Does she pay your fucking bills? No, she does not. So... Y'all motherfuckers need to stop going so hard for people y'all don't even know. I go hard for Brit because I fucking know her. Hello? Anyway, I'm just so fucking tired of these fake-ass fucking creators. I just don't want to pick sides. I just want to watch everybody. Well, we see how that shit plays out, don't it? 
Y'all are fucking two-faced. What the fuck y'all are? I can kind of see how subs do it because they're not really in the same peer group. You know what I mean? You are, but you aren't. I can see how you can might like, you know, like to watch other creators, right? Which is fine. But when you are actually a fucking creator, that riding the fence shit can't apply to you anymore. Because it makes you look two-faced. It makes you look fake. And it's not even just makes you look that way. It shows me that's what the fuck you actually are. So, come for me if you want to. Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to say it again. I don't give a fuck. So, put that shit in your pipe and smoke on it. How about that shit? Okay? Okay. Uh, Bambi, you can kiss my ass. You don't give people full context. You, you tell people what you want them to hear. You don't tell them the full fucking story. And I'm telling you, I'm not the creator that's going to roll over and take it up the ass like other people do. I'm going to call you on your shit every fucking time. Every fucking time. Period. I am not scared of you. I'm not scared of your friend. I'm not scared of your friend's troll ass husband's ass fucking troll ass other friends. I mean, this little web that you've created. I'm not scared of none of you bitches. None of you. I have an audience who likes me because I'm real. I'm authentic. I say how the fuck I feel. I don't flip flop and I'm not fucking fake. I am everything that y'all motherfuckers are not. You're not capable of being. So, how about that shit? Okay? Anyways, like this video, dislike this video. I don't give a fuck. It helps me out, bitch. Love you. Who does that sound like? Yep, 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 yep. Tira. Haha. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to talk bad about her because as of late, I think she's doing good things. I think she's saying that for shit she believes in. I fucking like that shit. So, go on ahead, girl. I see you. You're doing fucking great. It's awesome. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to go through all the creators who like to talk shit. Um, Cookies and Cream Factory over there is is nondescript. Uh, Ren is like Ren and fucking Stimpy over there. He's nondescript too. Um, let's see. t Spiracy is a fake fucking fraud. Like I told y'all before, nobody want to listen to me. And now everybody sees she's a fake fucking fraud. Um, let me think of any other creators I need to um, talk about. Let's see. Hmm. No, I guess I can't think of any at the moment. Um, yeah, nope. That's it. That's it. That's all I have to say. Um, yeah. Oh, and, yo. Okay, no, nope, I'm wrong. I have one more person to talk about. Janet being Janet. Fuck you. Okay? Fuck you. Fuck you for telling people that I fucking threatened someone. Fuck you. I have never done that. And, oh, my God, I know. I'm so aggressive. You just can't deal with listening to me because I'm so mean. Bitch, shut the fuck up. So are you, okay? Back with Barbie. You're doing your thing, girl. I see you. You've been doing amazing. You actually stuck to what the fuck you said you were going to do. And all I can do is give you props for that shit. I hope it lasts. I really fucking do. True salutes. Um, I don't really know much about your ass. All I see is that you're messy as a motherfucker. So, that's not shocking. Anyway, uh, let's see. LB, still LB, doing the damn thing. Not giving a fuck about none of these bitches on here. So, you know, love to see it. Love to see it. Let's see. Kiki Chanel, love her, love a good Kylie fucking vlog, she's amazing, and everybody else can, let's see, um, either like it, dislike it, love me, hate me, it's all gravy, baby, see y'all later, deuces. I hate conspiracy. Party City called, and they said that you're way past due for payment from your knockoff Marilyn Monroe costume, I should probably put that out, maybe, I don't know. Next. Should I talk about Julie Virgo? I don't know. I don't know her. I've only seen her in the um, Cookies and Cream Factory over there. And I'm not really sure. Mm, no. No, she, yeah, she was definitely in the Cox and Cunts chat. So, I probably should stay away from there. Uh, no, we're going to cut that out. Next. One last thing. If there's someone around you or someone you know, okay... Who was ever a part of or was friends with a part of a group of people who were anti you. I would think twice about becoming their friends again. Let me give you a hypothetical. Okay. Say for instance. KJ became friends with a person or a member of the anti-KJ community. Um, I would think that her friends or anyone who's around her, I don't think she has friends, but anybody who's around her might possibly tell her to rethink that idea. Anybody who'd be involved with anything anti-you, 
you probably shouldn't be around those people. Just some food for thought, you know. But hey, what do I know? In closing, I just want to say one thing. I would not have made this video if Bambi would have never mentioned me in her video about Brit. Because her video about Brit was dumb. It had nothing to do with me and it wouldn't have bothered me in the least. But since she addressed me and I feel like she lied on me, um, I had to say something because I'm not going to make myself look bad. Also, I'm very aware that everything I've said in this video is going to make me lose a lot of fucking subscribers. But I also want everybody to know, I know that, I'm aware of that, and I'm okay with that. If you took issue with anything I said, that's fine. But if you are going to come here and call me a liar, and I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't want you here. You can unsub now. I can have, like, literally two subs and be fine. I'm growing very, very well. My channel has gotten a lot bigger than I thought it would. But I just want you to know, don't feel bad. You don't agree with me, it's fine. But if you can't support me because of the people I've talked about in this video, that's fine too. I welcome you to leave. I will see you out. It's fine. And you know what? You can even feel free to announce your departure. I don't care. This is Coley Airlines. Go on ahead. Do what you do. Makes you feel better? Let me know. Anyways, I love you, Chaos Crew. I hope I'll see you. Well, no, I hope I will. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in a day or two. All right. Later. So, go subscribe. Go send some love to this person that is very um, below the belt. But anyway. Do you know why that bothers you, Brit? And oh, I'm going to bother you with this one. If I'm, wish, at, wish at me, then. On sale now, 50% off. Do you know why you're so bothered by that? Because you still have to work, sweetheart. You have 12,000 subscribers. Your last three videos haven't even hit 1K. How's that um, SEO going for you? Is it going well? Or how is the MCN going? Is that going well?